spring is upon us, I thought we could start by giving just a few springtime tips. Springtime tips. From Mr. Chris. Okay. Well, if you suffer from seasonal allergies here in the springtime, a lot of times people will say it's because of the different pollens that are being released and then the winds blowing it. Did you know that different organs are affected by different climatic conditions like wind, dampness, heat, etc. and also are more prone to disease during certain times of the year and guess what? As we get into spring, the liver is more prone to disease and the liver dislikes the climatic condition of wind. Oh, That's so right. do I. <laughs> so if your liver is congested, you'll have an aversion to mm. wind. Also too, if you have allergies that stirred up even more by the wind, mm. then this is a sign that that liver is clogged. And now it could be emotionally clogged with resentment, anger, old anger, etc. But also it could be clogged with toxicities from our environment, mm. from the food, etc., etc. So. One of the great things that I recommend doing is going to David Avocado Wolf's website and ordering some activated charcoal. To, you're going to start off with one tablet in the morning on an empty stomach. Don't eat anything for at least an hour. This is going to help to detoxify the body. Another thing you go ahead and do too is just drink chrysanthemum flower tea. Chrysanthemum flowers are great for, as a gentle liver detox. Mm -hmm. uh, I've talked about this before. I'm a big fan as you're taking the charcoal or after you take the charcoal is to take a four ounce glass of hot water and a full lime and drink that down on an empty stomach. And that also gently helps to detoxify the liver. Your reishi mushrooms, your shiitake mushrooms, cordyceps, lion's mane mushrooms, those are also great cleansers for the liver and also your green leafy vegetables, like especially kale. Kale Ooh, okay. and broccoli are so good for you. We had kale last night for dinner. Mm -hmm. well, kale when you down. talk about internal, <laughs> what'd you say? Kale, yeah. Kale, yeah. <laughs> when you talk about internal wind, is that like gassiness? Here, pull my finger. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about internal wind. I said, it, well, yes, I said internal wind, but internal wind can actually stir up and is actually aggravated by external wind, but you can have internal wind when there's too much heat inside the body, mm. but it's not temperature heat. In fact, in Chinese medicine, we have a term for it. It's called an empty heat pattern, and it's normally due to a weakness of the kidneys, which then affects the liver, creating too much heat, which then stirs uh, this wind inside the body. So if you think about it, if you have one of those paper mache fans or whatever and you stick a candle underneath it, the heat from the candle causes the fan to to spin or it causes that little balloon, that little paper mache bag to, uh, to float. I think that's how hot air balloons work too. Yeah, so essentially that ha can happen inside the body too. So mm -hmm. some of the telltale signs besides seasonal allergies is that we could have facial tremors. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Uh, on a severe end, we could have a more uh, serious condition called trigeminal facial neuralgia. Uh, Bell's palsy, mm -hmm. uh, strokes are all an example. Tretz is an mm -hmm. example also of liver wind as well. So believe it or not, we could actually have these climatic conditions internally. 